This is Matthew Cratter from Trade University, and today I want to answer the question, will the release of these Bitcoin from Mt. Gox tank the Bitcoin market? For those of you who don't know, Mt. Gox was an early Bitcoin exchange based in Japan. It was launched in 2010, and then just four years later, it suspended trading, filed for bankruptcy, and there were all these coins that were left on the exchange, all these Bitcoin that were left on the exchange that have slowly been found over the years. There's some fun facts about Mt. Gox. It was started by Jed McCallop, who's someone I've talked about before on this channel. I believe him to be a serial scammer. I'm sure he's a great guy in real life. This is just my personal belief about him. Mt. Gox actually stands for, it was originally intended, this exchange was originally intended to be a way of trading these cards, Magic the Online Gathering cards. And so Mt. Gox actually stands for Magic the Online, uh, Magic the Gathering Online Exchange. If you want to meet, read more about Jed McCallop, I will link to this below. He sort of has this serial rep reputation. He went from Stellar or he went from Mt. Gox, he sold it to a guy named Mark Carpellis, and then he went on to Stellar, and then he went on to XRP, I believe was the progression in the process, dumping these coins on retail. He's made billions and billions of dollars for himself, but he's one of these guys who's left a trail of destruction, in my opinion. So Mt. Gox lost about 750,000 customer Bitcoin. That's the number of coins, that's not the value, it's the number of coins, and then they, they said they lost 100,000 of their own Bitcoin. Some people believe they were stolen directly by Jed or by Mark Carpellis, who was the owner after Jed of Mt. Gox. But this story is really the original, not your keys, not your coins. And a lot of people learned this the hard way. And this was really drilled, every, drilled into everyone's brains or burned into everyone's brains when Mt. Gox happened. There are a lot of people who had to do, relearn this lesson the hard way with Celsius and Voyager etc. in 2022. But really Mt. Gox is this primal this primal fall that led to the, the saying, not your keys, not your coins. I'll say if you're finding this video helpful so far before I go on, just hit that subscribe button, especially if you're not yet subscribed to the channel. So what's the big story here? Well, it looks like after all these years, there are finally going to be some Bitcoin return to creditors, which include those who had accounts at Mt. Gox. So something close to 137,000, I believe it was 137,000 coins have been found and are rumored to be returned soon as sort of partial repayment. I'm sure these people are only getting five or 10 cents uh, on the dollar, if even that. There's a, a PDF circulating, which is a translation from the Japanese into English. And this is a letter from the rehabilitation trustee and uh, in Japan talking about how the coins uh, are going to be distributed. And people have a choice whether to receive just a partial payment, early sum, lump sum repayment, et cetera. There are various different uh, methods to receive or amounts you can choose to receive. On Twitter, there seemed to be a, f a fair number of creditors of Mt. Gox who said that the rumors of these Bitcoin being released and then dumped by the, the rightful owners, that these rumors are not true. Here's Marshall Hayner. I don't know who this is, but it said, he says, I'm a creditor of Mt. Gox and can confirm we are not close to receiving our Bitcoin. Most people like me also have no intention of selling it. Don't believe what influencers on Twitter are telling you. So again, these are just these are just tweets on Twitter. Uh, Danny Devon saying something similar. There's so much false information. Mt. Gox isn't releasing all 137,000 Bitcoin tomorrow. It's starting the repayment process tomorrow. So creditors will begin to receive their Bitcoin. The entire process will take months. Both these guys look credible to me, but again, it's Twitter. We don't know. Uh, we don't know for sure. If we take a look at daily trading volume of Bitcoin, if we just use sort of naively use the numbers from Coin Market Cap, we can see here that uh, 1.6 million Bitcoin traded in the last 24 hours. That is a U.S. dollar fiat value of 32.33 billion. So this should put in perspective the amount of Bitcoin that's being released, 137,000 versus 1.6 million. Now you can argue that some of this Bitcoin is is wash trading and that it's not that it's not real, but the discrepancy is still quite large. Here's another estimate from live uh, from livecoinwatch.com, and these estimates show daily Bitcoin volume 
on on exchanges on visible transparent exchanges about 15 16 billion dollars worth of bitcoin and then there's an interesting metric down here i'm not sure how accurate it is but it does give us a ballpark figure and what this basically shows is that if you want to sell right down here it says bids minus two percent asks plus two percent and what this is indicating is if you wanted to immediately dump uh, bitcoin you could dump up to 540 million if you just hit all the exchanges and again i'm not sure how accurate this is it may be off by by 500 million dollars or so but it gives us a ballpark figure that if you want to dump 500 550 million dollars worth of bitcoin it would tank the price two percent now you could argue if people began to really panic if there was more news surrounding this those bids would disappear more quickly so again everything we're doing here is just estimating but when you take into account the actual numbers uh, in at least in this first tranche 137,000 Bitcoin at current Bitcoin prices that's uh, where it's trading right now 20,400 that gives it a, a notional value a total value of 2.79 billion uh, expressed in US dollars the market cap of Bitcoin right now is 390 billion so if all these coins were be, were to be released at the same time and if they were all to be dumped simultaneously and it doesn't look like it looks like they'll be trickled out but that would be uh, that would be amount of trading, as we said, the the daily trading volume somewhere around either 30 billion or 15 billion. Here we're talking about 2.79 billion, which is a very small percentage of that. And in terms of Bitcoin's overall market cap, this would just be 0.71 percent, so less than one percent of the market cap. And as I said, it looks like not everyone will receive their Bitcoin at at the exact same time. Not everyone will dump at the same time. And I think many of the people who've been sort of forced hodlers on Mt. Gox have had time to really educate themselves about it, realize how precious Bitcoin is. And these these hardened Bitcoiners who haven't been able to sell, maybe they sell just a tiny bit to uh, pay off their mortgage or something, but we're talking about huge, huge amounts of money and very ideological big Bitcoin maximalists, you might even call them, who are not gonna sell at any price, just like I'm not gonna sell at any price. But even if everyone were to dump at the same time, it would have a minimal market impact. Maybe Bitcoin would go down four or five, uh, four or five percent. Again, we don't really know, but it's highly, highly unlikely that everyone's gonna receive their Bitcoin at the same time. Everyone's gonna dump at the same time. And even if they did, I think it would just be a very, very small version of the mess that we had in June and July, where we had the three arrow, three arrows mess and Celsius and Voyager and all these stops being hit that was a much bigger event than something like this would be. And the other thing is markets do do a degree of forward discounting. So everyone knows that these coins are coming. And so it's it, you could almost say that it's priced into the market as well. This isn't as if like Satoshi is coming back and all of a sudden he, he sells a million coins and surprises everyone. This has been the Mt. Gox release has been on everyone's radar for years. It's dragged on for years. And it's certainly, it's not gonna surprise anyone when it eventually happens. And it looks like it might be eventually happening over the coming months. But let's assume that all my analysis in this video is actually wrong and that the Mt. Gox release happens. Everyone dumps their Bitcoin. There's not a lot of liquidity in the market and Bitcoin drops to 15,000, it drops to 10,000, it drops to 5,000. Ultimately, I would argue who really cares. If you're not using any leverage, if you're not using any margin or borrowed money to own your Bitcoin, and so you're not at risk of any, getting any margin calls, if you hold your own private keys, if you understand Bitcoin thoroughly, and if you believe in its long-term future, if you're not just trading this thing, then you shouldn't really care if Bitcoin drops to 15K or 10K or 5K. In fact, you should actually be hoping that it happens so that you could buy even more Bitcoin with your next paycheck. And when your dollar cost averaging and the price of Bitcoin is lower, you end up accumulating more Bitcoin for the same dollar amount. Lower prices are great for dollar cost averaging. And I still don't think that Bitcoin drops below the June lows of approximately 17,500. But again, who cares if it does? Bitcoin miners will keep mining. I'll keep dollar cost averaging. Many of you will keep dollar cost averaging. And I would encourage you, don't believe anyone who tells you that Bitcoin miners won't be able to afford the electricity if the price of Bitcoin drops too much. These people don't understand the basics about dip, uh, about Bitcoin, like the difficulty adjustment as well, which I should probably make a reviewer video about. So I would say this is really 
kind of a non-news story, which is why I haven't covered it up, up until this point. But I hope this gives you some reassurance and perspective around the whole thing. Meanwhile, Bitcoin doesn't care. TikTok, next block. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that subscribe and like button. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I publish my next video. And let me know your questions and comments in the comment section below. Thanks all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.